Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this hair mask, a hair mask with a difference. This is actually a sheet hair mask, which I have not tried before at all. Um, so something a little bit different for me, um, but I am an expert when it comes to hair masks because I use them a lot. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried this one. So hopefully you find something interesting and helpful in this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And leave any comments below as well. So this is by the brand Derma V10. I remember first seeing this brand years ago. Um, I'm sure it was somewhere like, you know, Poundland, some kind of pound shop. It was, you know, it was a pound basically um, for this face cream. And I remember using it. I'm sure I was a teenager. It was a long time ago. Um, and I really, really liked the products that I tried. Um, I don't remember anything like this around at the time. I think this is pretty new. Um, but I, I remember the brand and I remember being, you know, pleasantly surprised and really enjoyed their products. I haven't used any Derma V10 recently. I don't think, um, I'm trying to think, I don't think so. Um, but I definitely have not tried this before. I haven't even seen this before actually. Um, I saw it in a shop recently. Uh, I think it was Savers, again, one of these, you know, very inexpensive stores, um, and I'm pretty sure it was, like, a pound, um, maybe 150. It was definitely less than two pounds, I know that, um, because I bought another mask, which, which I will review a different brand, and that was two pounds, and that was the most expensive hair mask that I bought, because I bought a selection, um, so this was definitely less than two pounds, which is a bargain. Um, obviously it's a single-use hair mask. Um, and what I love about this, it is a cap. So how this works, you have to bear with me. Hopefully the thumbnail should be me wearing this. I took a picture when I used it. Um, so hopefully that is the thumbnail so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, and obviously you've got the illustration there as well. So you should understand what I'm saying. But when you pull this out of the packaging, it, um, it is like a plastic uh, material. It's like a shower cap. Um, and it looks like half a shower cap. So basically it's like a shower cap folded in half and it's kind of stuck together so you can't open it. So you actually have to cut um, this section here along the hairline. You have to cut that and then it opens up. So you then have your outer casing which is this plastic material which I will call the shower cap just to make it easier um, so you have this shower cap that you, you've cut you've opened it you have the shower cap and inside the shower cap you then have sheet mask so this is the exact same material as a normal kind of woven sheet mask that you would normally have used on your face um, it's the same material as that that is inside the cap now from the back of the cap, it is kind of stuck down, so it's not gonna move, you can't kind of, I don't think you can take it out. Um, it's stuck inside, um, but you might have to peel open um, the sheet, because when I opened my shower cap, it looked as if there was only uh, the mask on one side, and I was thinking, why is it only on one side, not the other? And it's because I needed to peel it open. So what you end up with is both sides of the plastic casing, which is like the shower cap, um, which has the design on it, and then the inner casing, which is this sheet mask, which could be stuck, you know, either way, but you just peel it open, and then you put it on your head. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, pop it on your head, obviously. Um, another thing I love about this is that it actually had an adjustable um, tab at the front, which I thought was fantastic. Obviously, everybody has different size heads. Everybody has... Um, different hair lengths, different hair volume. Some people have lots of hair, very thick. Some people have very short, thin hair, fine hair. And so the shower cap is not going to fit everybody. Um, so I love the fact that at the front of the shower cap, it has a little tab. I think it says peel off or something like that. You peel it off and then it leaves a sticky side. And all you do is you pull it down and you have the tab here and you just pull it across and stick it. You know, obviously if you want the, the hat bigger, it would be stuck kind of here. I pulled it right down and stuck it here and it just makes it tighter, which I absolutely love. It makes it secure. It means you can walk around the house in it. I um, had a bath when my mask was on um, and it's secure. It didn't move, it didn't shift. I absolutely loved that. Um, I thought it was fantastic. 
the scent of this mask is amazing. It smells very, very coconutty. Um, it does say on the packaging, um, it's got this marula oil. I don't know if the, I pronounced that correctly. I think that's like the main ingredient of this is the marula oil, or that's like the key ingredient for this mask. Um, and it says it nourishes and conditions the hair. And then it says at the bottom, coconut fragrance. So I don't really know if that's like a synthetic fragrance um, because it just says coconut fragrance rather than coconut extract. But I have to say, honestly, I don't know if it will still smell now. Yes, it does. This genuinely smells like real coconut. So I was really surprised that it says coconut fragrance um, because it smells like actual, it genuinely smells like someone's cut open a coconut and I'm smelling it. Like it smells exactly like a real coconut. Um, it's kind of crazy because I have a lot of coconut scented products at the moment and none of them smell like this. They all smell they just don't smell as coconutty. This is very strong, but very pleasant, and it genuinely smells real. So if it's not real coconut, then I'm very impressed because it smells amazing. Um, so that's something to think about. Maybe you don't like coconut, it might put you off. But for me, I found it really pleasant. So I really liked that. Um, there was plenty of product um, on the sheet masks. Uh, you know, they were, you know, very soaked in the mask, which was great. As I said, it the mask stayed on, so there was no product leaking out um, of the sides, the edges. It stayed on the full time. I think I kept it on about 15, 20 minutes, um, and it was very pleasant. Now, in case you're wondering why, you know, you might be one of those people that just use a normal hair mask, um, you know, mix it in, rub it into your hands, and then, you know, run your fingers through your hair and leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off. That's usually what I do too. But a little tip, the reason why these masks are so good, such a good idea, is that when it is uh, wrapped, if when your head is wrapped with the product on, it actually penetrates better, it actually penetrates deeper, you actually get a better result, because what happens is the heat from your head, you, your head gives off heat, if you didn't know, um, and so when you have uh, a cap on, so this could even be a shower cap, you could do this with a normal hair mask and put a shower cap on, sometimes I do that, um, it keeps all the heat in, and the heat mixed with the product kind of gives it a, a, um, a more advanced treatment. Um, it, sometimes they do that in salons, they'll put the treatment on your hair and then they'll wrap your hair because it accelerates the treatment and it makes the treatment more intense. Um, and just penetrate deeper. So that's why this is so great because normally you just have your hair mask on um, and you know your hair's gonna be quite cold or room temperature, whatever. But when you have a, a, um, a, a cap on, it heats up inside the cap and it keeps all of that heat in there. It gets really, really warm. It's not uncomfortable, it feels really nice. It gets really, really warm and that helps it penetrate deeper. So it's actually a really good idea to cover your head when you have a hair mask on, if you want that intense treatment. Um, so I really like that about it. Uh, so yeah, if you didn't know, get yourself a, um, a shower cap if you have a normal hair mask and just put the shower cap on um, and sit there with the mask on and you will notice a difference. So I love that. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about this mask. It also, I've just noticed, is suitable for vegans, which is amazing. Um, I, honestly, I love the packaging. It looks really cute. I feel like, um, you know, you could use it on your children's hair. You know, you might want to do a little spa day with your daughter and, you know, she has a little cap on. It's quite cute. Um, I like it. I think it's really nice. Like I said, it smells lovely. Um, it did leave my hair feeling nice and soft. I would say if you're looking for some, you know, really, really intense treatment that, you know, maybe your hair is incredibly damaged, incredibly dry, um, frazzled, split ends, you know, needs a lot of care and attention. I feel like this isn't really going to be enough for you. Um, one thing I do like about dipping my hand into these um, tubs of hair mask is that you can control how much product you put on. I am obsessed with product and I always apply too much no matter what it is. Um, you know, face cream, I apply loads. Um, hair masks, I apply loads. Shampoo, conditioner, I always put loads on because I just want to get that moisture. Um, and obviously with this, you can't control the product. It's just, it is what it is. That's how much is in the packet. You just have to deal with it. So you can't really, um, you can't control that. So for me, like I said, I like to scoop in and get loads of product. Way too much, I know, but I like to do that because I feel like it's 
doing more for my hair because my hair really needs it. Um, so for this, I feel like if you have normal hair, um, you're going to really enjoy this. I don't think it's like an intense treatment and it's going to transform your hair to something new. Um, but it's pleasant, it's nice and your hair feel hair will feel a little bit softer um, but it's not, you know, it's not a groundbreaking formula or anything like that. It's pleasant, it's cute, it's nice. If you want to just have a little pamper night and put a hair mask on, sit, you know, read a book or sit in the bath, um, you know, sit with some candles, whatever you want to do. Um, it's cute and it works, it's nice, it does make your hair softer. Um, but yeah, you're not going to be blown away by the results. This is just something fun. Um, and um, yeah, I do recommend it. It's cute and I will, I will buy more of these. Um, I think this is the only one they had. I'm going to have a look around and see if they do different um, designs with different ingredients in and try those as well. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Like I said, it's not expensive. It does what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I recommend it. If I have any links, um, I'm not sure where they sell it. I'll try and have a look if there's places online you can buy it and I will leave the link below if I have it. Um, and that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.